mean, simple enough. I mean, they're, they're, they're mundane enough. They're everyday screws, but... Hello, sir. How are you? I will try to keep the prices down for as long as I can. Um, and so do our suppliers. They, everyone's kind of playing that game, but at some point when the, the tariffs are just too much, we have to eventually uh, raise the prices. And uh, it, then it goes down to the end user, the customer. Discounts. If you go in and, and you say, oh, I work at this restaurant, they give you a discount on your shoes. Have a really good time. Get all in. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Take care. So, you know, it's really the customer that suffers, you know, from this. And it reduces everybody's buying power because of these uh, price increases. It, this is stuff that's made in China, which is so much of the products that we sell. This difference. This company, made in China. So when these cost changes and these tariffs go in and out and they're tweeted out, uh, these decrees, it makes it very difficult for a, a business person to uh, predict and, and anticipate the future and how to, uh, how to conduct our business. Um, so the U.S. will be imposing tariffs on the entire footwear industry, and I think any cost increase puts us in a tough place. It makes it tough for business owners because we will have to take a hit um, on our margins, but it'll also be difficult for us to pass it on to our shoppers. Um, who will have to pay higher prices in order for us to protect our margins. Basically, they're known for arch support. So it's all of this contour and then this deep with a flip-flop. Essentially to help his customers. Cool. Um, it's not like just some flat. So yeah, it'll be, it'll be hard, especially in an environment where online businesses outpacing retail business, um, we, we kind of see brick and mortar stores not having a bright future at this point. These are made in China. Not cheap either. These are like 65 to $120 flip-flops. <laughs> 